almost one o'clock and just got done with our first game versus Gretna uh, as expected good good contest for us early on Gretna was athletic and their athleticism made it hard for us at times I felt we controlled the game well defended well I don't think Alex and goal had to come up with a save uh, Gretna threatened a couple times on corner kicks uh, but in general we defended well um, and, and didn't allow them quality chances at on goal which is important On the flip side, uh, we created uh, maybe a handful of, of good chances. One in the first couple minutes of the game. Cross came over from the left side and um, Parker had a chance at it. Couldn't get enough contact on the ball. And a couple good chances in the second half as well. Specifically, uh, one, as I believe Gwen, who was playing center forward, got the ball down the right side, uh, put in a good cross, and Val at the top of the six kind of hit the volley, the bouncing ball over the net. Livy had a couple couple chances in at goal. So from, from that aspect, happy. Uh, we scored one goal in the first half off a set piece. Uh, Ainsley hit a corner from the right side of the field. Really good floated ball into this back post area and Sienna was there to attack it with her head. And then also again in the second half, another corner that Ainsley served in. Uh, a high one into the danger area. The keeper tried to come out, make a play on it, bounced off her hands and Sienna was there to follow up with her second header of the game. So said it all along to this group uh, to the core group for a number of years and, and to this group this year that in tight games a lot of times it's the outcome is decided by set pieces so today will be great it will, it will serve as a great reminder for everybody that the coach is right sometimes and that the work that we put in on set pieces and our ball striking and our heading is important and can mean the difference between a win and a loss or a tie and a, tie and a loss or a tie and a win. So great highlight today of that stuff. Um, but just we have a lot of things we need to clean up. Not the cleanest game for us. You know, sloppy at times and And a lot of things that, that, for me as a coach, I need to address in the next two weeks before our second game versus Eclipse, which would be a, a difficult, ga difficult game for us. Definitely need to do more work with our forwards, being able to receive the ball back to goal, keep the ball for us, play the way they're facing, link up with midfielders. Midfielders need to get open, create good angles in support of those forwards. And again, the work with the forwards to find that midfielder and then move into a more dangerous situation to receive the ball. Need to do more work on crossing. A number of times we got to the end line, did a lot of good work to get to that end line but then just played the ball square into the keeper. We need to be able to angle those crosses back and take the keeper out of play and give us a chance to make a play on the ball. Our organization in defense, getting our wide backs more connected with our center backs, not allowing them to play that split ball, the split ball into the gap between our center back and wide back that forces us to turn and chase the ball towards our own goal. 
long diagonals from our wide backs, helping them understand when that is on. We're just guilty of not looking at that option a lot, and it's a super useful option if we can get on the same page, our wide back and our forwards get on that same page. Our free kicks in attack, we haven't done anything with them. We had two free kicks from 25 yards out that Sienna took one, Liv took another, and just didn't get good quality strikes on goal. And we weren't organized in, in, in setting up, extending the wall with a couple players. Our ball striking and our, our thought process on what we need to do when we're shooting on direct free kicks. Center midfield play in terms of recognizing when we're on one part of the field for too long and being able to either find that weak side center back to relieve pressure, the wide back, or the wide forward. Stuff we need to work on. And then again, our wide backs, how do they get into the attack? A lot of times they start to move forward at the wrong time when they need to pull wide a lot of times first. So yeah, those, those are an hour after the game. Those are my thoughts on what, on what we need to learn from this game and, and improve on. But we got the result, which we needed. Could have been four. But sloppy as it was at times, we did what we needed to do, which is important. So, happy from that regard. But I also just maybe a little too hard on myself, but disappointed on some of the some of the sloppiness on, on the little things that I didn't think we needed as much work on, but good reminder to myself we clearly do. That's that's fine. That's fine. So day off tomorrow, we go Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday maybe this week. We probably have seven training sessions until we see Eclipse. A real, that'll be a real test for us. We'll need to take some time and, and go back and watch that quarterfinal game. I know they caused us a lot of trouble with having their wide players deep. They were able to receive the ball and turn and dribble at our wide backs uh, a lot. But I don't know if we have the pace in our wide backs right now to get tighter on those players, then we're gonna be exposed in the space behind them, which is more dangerous for us. And then knowing they got their two goals at the quarterfinals on set pieces, we have we're gonna need continued work on defending corner kicks, not giving up corner kicks, and, and, and making sure that we're defending well and focused. So, overall, happy, good test for us. And we'll keep moving forward.